Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down. You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. <laughs> Got to chew. That's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha! <laughs> I rhymed again! <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Woo yeah. Activate Blippi Station. It's time get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoons, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! La 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 la! Ooh, what's that? La 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 la! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing! Everybody join in! La la la. I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Whoa! Ha, ha, ha. 
It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! Blood! We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? La 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 You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Whee! Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question. Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> Wow! Look at those birds! Oh! Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next! Ah! <gasps> That's not the king of the jungle! King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? There's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savanna for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool! Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions! Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions. Roar! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, 
and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savannah, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those elephants. Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. <laughs> Whoa! We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> huh? Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the show. You're on. Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose! <coughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> we had such a blast! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You're right, Debo. The snow has blocked the Blippi Mobile. Hmm, I wonder. How are we gonna get out of here? Whoa! Oh, look! Whoa, yeah! <laughs> I'm an excavator, a snowy excavator. Hey, snow! I'll see you later, snowy excavator. I've got a great big arm Whoa. with a great big boom. If I start shoveling now, the road will be clear soon. I'm a frost devastator, snowy excavator. Got a 
we had a cool treat to cool down. <laughs> That's a great idea, Debo. We'll get popsicles to beat the heat. I wonder, what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? It's hard to see what's wrong. We'll need to shrink down to get a better look. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is not ready for adventure, but we are! Wow, the inside of the Blippi Mobile looks so cool! But how will we ever figure out how to fix it? Do I hear someone in need of help fixing something? Hi, I'm Wonky the Rich, at your service for any and all repairs. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Mika and Debo. Wonky, will you help us figure out what's wrong with the Blippi Mobile? Hey, you bet! Here are some things we should check. First up, make sure the bolts are tight. There are a lot of bolts down here. I know just the wrench to tighten them. <laughs> Those are some sweet moves, Wonky. Ooh, I tell you what, I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ten out of ten. That one's tightened. <laughs> hey, Debo, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> Next up. Let's make sure all the switches are on. This way. Oh no! Whoopsie! Ooh. Now let's check out the gears. Woohoo! Woo hmm, I think the gears are supposed to move. Hey, there's a toy in the gear. Is that your toy, Debo? Don't worry, I'm on it. Dead gummit, it's not working. We can help. <laughs> it works! Yeah! Ho oh, ho! Now this is the best part of fixing things when it's all fixed. And I got the answer to my question. The Blippi-mobile wasn't working because there was a toy stuck in the gears. 
But now, the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Upload answer, Debo. I'm here anytime you need a helping wrench. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye bye. Growing up. <laughs> now, who's ready for a popsicle? You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we're in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the Outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! Oh, hi there! I'm Rooney! What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! <laughs> We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, <laughs> Rooney's hopping pretty high <gasps> and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Look at that! It's amazing how big dinosaurs were! You're right, Debo. There were bigger dinosaurs than the T-Rex. Hmm, I wonder, what was the biggest dinosaur? Good idea, Debo! We can go back in time and find the biggest dinosaur! I'm gonna need wings and extendo legs! Wings, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Okay, where is the biggest dinosaur? Whoa! The rock is moving! We aren't sitting on a rock. We're on a very big dinosaur's back. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Angie, the Argentinosaurus. Whoa, that is a big name for a big dino. I have to break it up to say it right. Argentinosaurus. That's me. So. I'm on my way to meet a friend. Oh, oh, do you want to come along? Thanks for inviting us. Do you want to race? I bet you can run super fast. Actually, I walk slowly. 
That's part of being so big. Plus, I need to snack to keep up my energy. I eat hundreds of pounds of plants every day. You want to get a selfie of you and all of Angie? Good luck, Debo. Whoa, you're really long. I'm about 130 feet long and 40 feet tall. That's as long as three school buses and a little taller than a telephone pole. Yum. The hill we go! I be your bridge! Whoa. It tickles! <laughs> yeah! This is where I meet my friend. Hey! Good shot, Devo! We're both in it! Oh, and look! So is my friend! Sorry I'm late! Hey! This is my good friend, Nina! Nina, this is Bleepy and Debo. <laughs> They're looking for the biggest dinosaur. That's an easy one. You're the biggest dinosaur around, Angie. Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> so cool. And I have the answer to my question. What was the biggest dinosaur? One of the biggest dinosaurs was the Argentinosaurus. It was 130 feet long and ate plants and leaves all day. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Angie and Nina. Bye, Blippi! Bye, Blippi! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> oh, no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the Frisbee far away towards the island. Hmm. I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Blippi! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh, Debo! Oh no!
Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye, bye, Flippy. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Devo, I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi. How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta-da! Wow! Yes, sir -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it, but it, dip, 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 dip. Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick. You've got to stick. Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! Oh, now I stick to the ceiling, too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist, do the fly leg twist, and get your feet unstuck when you go like this. We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. The big Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo! Let's go find out! Gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right! Okay. When I pick a string, 
it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippy. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Whoa! Huh? This spider web looks amazing. You're right, Debo. Spiderwebs do have such artistic designs. I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes, let's go find a spider to ask. I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour! I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs! Time! To create! Debo, I'll be right back. Oh, Blippi, you can be my holder and tester! My web will be a circle shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach! <laughs> to a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece. Can you hold this strand in place, Flippy? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you, my masterpiece. Now you can test it. Bounce against it. See if it holds. Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat. <laughs> your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. 
Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. <laughs> bye bye. Au revoir. Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Blippi! Let's go! <laughs> Four, three, two, one! Do you want to have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun! Sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Summer is here, let's go and play. I wonder what fun we'll have today. Let's play catch with a ball and glove. Summer is the season that I love. We can splash in the swimming pool. Come on, Blue, you can join in too. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. In the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi! When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload, answer Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. Bye bye <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Whoa -ho! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika, Debo, and Tabs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, who were they? We better go find out. Hey, Blippi! Mika! Over here! Can you help us? We'd love to help. The name's Boom. We're looking for something that we need, but we can't remember what it's called. And I'm Benjamin. The thing we need is kind of shaped like this, but with a less bouncy stick. Whoa! Whoa! Boom's away! Whoa! Oh! Like this. I'll get you out, Debo. Looks like you gotta shake it up. Oh, yeah. Shake it up. Whoa. 
Blue! Purple! No. Yellow! No. Oh, hi, Blippi and Mika. I'm Barry. Can you help me find something? <laughs> sure. We would love to help. It's usually red. Red. Got it. But it can also be purple. Or orange. Green. Or every color. Whoa! <laughs> What's that? Hey! <laughs> Hello! I'm blue. I need the yummy for my tummy. You're looking for something that tastes good. It's a yummy and makes me feel happy inside. Oh, no! Hugs? <laughs> What's that? No, it's not that. Not that either. Was it... Boomsicle? Whoa! <laughs> oh, yay! Flippy and Mika, I'm Babel. Can you help me find this word? Let's sound it out. Something... Sickle? Tricycle? Bicycle? Whimsicle? Good idea, Tabs. Let's review our notes. It's rectangular and has a stick. It's frozen. It could be any color. It makes you feel happy. And it sounds like something sickle. Hmm, this is tricky. Popsicles! <laughs> You were looking for popsicles! Yeah! yeah! Hey, who are you all? Boom! Benjamin, Barry, Blue, Bubble! And we are the Curiosity Crew! Wow! I got the answer to my question. Who were they? They are my new friends, the Curiosity Crew! Upload answer, Debo! <laughs> Woohoo! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo? I think it is helping build the building. Hmm. I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. <laughs> I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really uh, heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it! I'm really doing it! Now, take it up, Kareem! Oh! Goodness! Look out below! Got it! Now let's finish the job! <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey! 
Yay! We did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings! Upload answer, Debo. Yes! Thanks for everything, Blippi! Bye! Bye, Kareem! I knew you'd be an amazing crane! Mmm, I love chocolate! Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right! Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies! Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out! I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine! Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory! Thanks, Barb! I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made! Can we come with you? Absolutely! It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So, how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. Our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo! After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready! Ta-da! Whoa! You both look alike! And I have the answer to my question. How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs>soon taps? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, superfan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step. Position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry. Are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>